Wyoming government shutdown is closer to becoming reality as the U.S. House and Senate struggle to pass solutions. The Senate is poised to move ahead with short-term funding plan, but there is no indication the House Republicans will get on board. Congress has only one option, one option to avoid a shutdown, bipartisanship. Unless Congress finds common ground, millions of federal workers, law enforcement, military members, and federal programs will not be paid or funded come Sunday morning. Northern News Now's Natalie Hepner reached out to our congressional leaders about the legislative fight on Capitol Hill. It's going to be really tight. The clock ticking down on Capitol Hill as lawmakers race to come to an agreement on a budget to support the government. U.S. Representative Tom Tiffany, who represents Wisconsin's 7th Congressional District, blames past spending for getting the government to this point. It's all been deficit spending. We need to start pulling that back because there's a direct impact on every American, and that's inflation, higher cost of living, if the government does shut down, millions of federal workers and military personnel will lose their paychecks. Essential workers and TSA employees will have to work without pay. And some food programs relying on federal aid will stop. I think it's important for people to remember, even if there is a closure, the uh, people will continue to get their Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid checks. Uh, VA benefits will continue to be paid. The U.S. Postal Service will continue to deliver. Tiffany fighting for 12 appropriation bills rather than continuing resolution bills or CRs. Tiffany said CRs don't overview budgets, claiming those past CRs have caused the major debt we see now. It, it looks like the Senate is going to send over what we call a clean continuing resolution. In other words, they're not going to make any reforms. They're going to accept the status quo. To me, that's unacceptable. However, Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer, majority leader of the U.S. Senate, argues CRs are the solution. Speaker McCarthy needs to stop letting the MAGA radicals drive his decisions and do the obvious and sensible thing. Follow the Senate's lead and pass a bipartisan CR to prevent this reckless shutdown. All eyes now on that October 1st deadline. For Northern News Now, I'm Natalie Hepner. We also reached out to Congressman Pete Stauber, a Republican representing Minnesota's 8th. His team denied our request for an interview.